Hi folks, old twerking monkey here. Yeah, I was standing there looking and kind of trying to imagine what it would be like if there was a ocean on the other side of these trees right here. You know, that was the scene back many, many, many years ago before the United States ever became the United States. The indigenous people looked out through the trees and saw a big Spanish ship on the shoreline. And in seeing that, they didn't know if they were friends or if they were enemies. The Spanish people came aboard the shoreline and they brought trinkets and gifts and shared to show their friendship. Well, in turn, the indigenous people of what was later to be known as the United States of America gave a recipe to the Spanish explorers. And then that recipe got carried back to Spain and then was later shared with the United Kingdom and then was brought back to the United States, which at that time was not the United States, but came back to the United States with the settling of the colonists who came for freedom from the United Kingdom. So that recipe, folks, went full circle from the United States, shared throughout the world, and back to the United States. And today we want to show you in our kitchen how to prepare hot water cornbread. That, my friends, is the recipe that the indigenous folks gave to the world. Hi folks, Old Twerking Monkey here. Told you a little bit of history on hot water cornbread earlier. Now I want to finish up that story. Hot water cornbread has been handed down from generation to generation from the Spanish explorers into the UK into the United States where it originated. And as that all came about, even then it got handed down from generation to generation as one of the staple breads of the southern states. And it's still enjoyed by the people of the South. And because of our method of travel today, I feel sure that probably this same recipe has gone into the other states other than just the South. But it is still held as the stable bread of the South. So what you got to have, folks, for this recipe is two cups of plain stone ground cornmeal. And I've already measured out those two cups right here. You've got to have right here a teaspoon of salt. And we'll go ahead and put that in there. Get that on out of our way. And then folks, you just want to take and mix this in good right here. Mix that in real good so that now all of that salt is mixed up in that cornmeal. Now, folks, that's real simple. And then you got to have one and a half cups of boiling hot water. Now, I've already measured this out and boiled it, but we're going to go ahead and pour it back in this cup right here, folks, so you can see that. We'll put that back on the... Put that back on there. Turned around here where you can see that, folks. One and a half cups right there. Now, folks, this is extremely hot, 212 degrees. Well, we're going to take this out. We're going to use this spoon right here because old monkey ain't going to stir this with his hands. No, sir. We're going to pour this just a little at a time in here, folks. It's kind of like baking biscuits, except you're making hot water cornbread. Now, this hot water, folks, as it mixes in because of its temperature, this hot water actually will cook this cornbread. Now, folks, we don't want this 
to be soupy so we want it to be more like a play-doh consistency because in a minute we're going to take this cornmeal and we're going to put it over in this hot grease over here that I've already got heated up and we're going to fry this up and then once we get it all fried up folks so you can see what it looks like old monkey gonna show you how to use it folks you see how that's coming together like a kind of like a play-doh kind of like that biscuits that we made up well, folks that's the way this is supposed to look now, that's a little crumbly looking but that's all right let me check that with my hand here folks now, that stuff hot folks that stuff's still just as hot as now you see that folks let me get a little more of that where you can see it a little bit better see how that is folks that's packy like that yeah that's the way you want it right there folks so you can make a, a little patty out of it all right folks we got our hot grease over here that hot grease had to turn it off a minute ago. It's getting a little too hot for old monkey. And so we turned it down, and that still wasn't quite sufficient. But folks, old monkey always checks his grease to make sure it's hot enough for frying. When he does, what he does is he uses a, a spoon, a wooden spoon. If that grease is hot enough to fry, it'll fry that spoon. Now, folks, you see that right there? See all those bubbles coming off of that spoon? That grease is now ready for frying. So anytime you don't have a way to check the temperature of your grease to see if it's ready for frying, you use that wooden spoon or a wooden chopstick or anything of wood like that. And when you see those bubbles coming off like that piece of wood is frying, that grease is ready. Now, folks, we're going to mix us up some of these patties right here. Now, that, that cornbread is hot, folks. Yeah, it is. But the old monkey hand's a little bit tough, so it ain't going to be too bad. But now, if it is too hot for your hands when you start to make this up, take and put your hands over and some, run some cold water over them. And then when you do, now, folks, you don't want to pat that out too thin, but you want it just about like that right there. Now, as I was saying, run you some cold water over your hands, and it'll help to take some of that heat out. Now, folks, anytime you put anything in grease, always lay it away from you. That's a safety factor. That way you don't splash grease on you and get all burnt up and have to go to the emergency room and all that kind of stuff. Make up another one right here, folks. We're going to pat that out just like that. There we go. Put that in there with that. I think we got room in there for another one. There'll be three of them in there. Folks, if we get this done right here. There you go. Now. And there we go, folks. No monkey gonna let this fry up here and then he gonna show you. Got to wash my hands there, folks. All right, now we're going to show you the way this is supposed to look. Let that fry for a little bit, and then we're going to turn it over. Let it fry, folks, till it gets to a kind of a golden brown on the on, on one side. Always remember, turn anything you're frying away from you. And there okay, ain't no food, no food whatsoever worth going to emergency room over. Folks, that one's not quite ready just yet to turn over. We'll turn that one back over right there. We're going to turn that over just like that, folks. We're going to let that cook on up there. Folks, we're not going to bore you to death with all of the cooking of this, but I'm going to show you just a minute what this looks like and then we're going to take and show you the whole plate once we get it finished all right folks we got through frying up all of that hot water cornbread and i made a little mistake a while ago i said this was grease well it is grease but it is lard that you use this was the original way of cooking up food back in the south we always use lard 
as our grease. So, folks, here we go. Let's get this over here. For some reason, I'm having a little bit of a lighting problem tonight. But anyway, this is what your cornbread should look like, a nice golden brown cornbread. Now, let me show you. When you take this cornbread, folks, oh, that one's hot. Let me get one that ain't quite so hot. Whew. All right, you're going to break it open. Folks, it's going to look kind of like that inside. Nice and well done. The old monkey going to taste of it here in a minute. But you know old monkey. The old monkey always got something up his sleeve. He don't just cook a recipe and say, that's it, folks. Bloop, end of the video. Old monkey, because this cornbread, folks, go real good with some greens. But old monkey got a pot of turnip greens cooked up here. Now, not any roots in these turnip greens here, folks. This is just the greens themselves. Now, I want to show y'all something, folks. Right here. And old monkey got to be careful how he say this now because if the neighbors hear him, they might call the food revenuers on him. But right here, folks, that juice right there, that's pot liquor. Yes, sir, that is genuine country pot liquor. That's some of the best eating you ever had when you take that hot water cornbread and you crumble it up over in that juice. Then you got your hot water cornbread and pot liquor. Now, folks, we're going to plate some of this up right here. We're going to get some of these turnip greens out of here and put them right here in this plate. Oh, monkey making a mess there. Get to clean that up in a minute so you can see it. Let's get a few of them, folks, for right now. This is going to be old monkey's supper tonight. We're going to, ooh, I was cooking there, folks. Y'all see that bang and I just done? Ooh, let me tell you. Now, folks, we just broke this in two, so we're going to put it right here like this, and we're going to put this one right over here. Now, clean that up just a little bit. Mm. Oh, my goodness. That is so good, folks. Woo, my goodness, that's delicious. Look at there, folks. You couldn't ask for nothing no better. That old monkey take a taste of it. Oh, by the way, folks, let me show you something here. It's hot, folks, I'm telling you. Woo. Ain't but one way to eat greens and hot water cornbread, and that's to pick it up with your fingers right here. Hot as it is, old monkey <laughs> having a little trouble. But look here. Get you some greens on that cornbread, folks, and you're going to put it right here. Uh-huh. Mmm. Oh, my goodness. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Woo! Mmm. I'm telling you, folks. Woo! Oh, much about to start squirting here. He's going to have to get off of here in a minute. Mmm. Oh, Lordy. Now, folks, I want to show you one more thing. You can take that. Woo! That's hot, folks. You can take that pot liquor. Soak it up in that cornbread just a little bit. Mmm. Oh, yes, sir. Woo, hot liquor and cornbread, folks. Mmm. Ain't nothing no better. Yes, sir. Now, folks, old monkey gonna get off of here and eat his supper. But y'all remember, we love you, and y'all come see us now, you hear? We gonna eat some hot liquor, ton of greens, and hot water cornbread, folks. Thank you for watching.